and then I'll get like you know the vanity metrics they'll all be chatting shit about me and then my page will grow and then you lot who are my diehards will be like don't say that about Danny she's the best do you know what I'm saying I want to talk about sustainable spaces. This week, I had the pleasure of going to Brighton Sustainable Weekend or Week. And what I did there is I'd done a workshop. So I was there last year, did a workshop with them, which was an upcycling workshop. And this year I was there again. And we did a workshop, which was a lettering workshop. So creating letters and making patches. So these are things that I do in my business anyway. Um, when I put my lettermans on tops and stuff. And it was really great. Last year, though, I was able to be on the panel talking about sustainability and, you know, just circuit, circular fashion. And this year, I think they've done it slightly different, so I wasn't on the panel. What I want to talk about is that I'm really grateful that I do get to speak on panels about something that I've grown up with in my community. And by that, I mean, we grew up in sustain in sustainability like it's our language we were we used to hand me downs and I obviously I can only talk for myself and um, people like me because this is the conversations that we had it was the butt of our jokes <laughs> it was standard like you've got your hand me downs whether it was your cousin's hand me downs your sister's hand me downs you could be a girl and it was your brother's hand me downs and we've grown up with that to the fact that we still do that with our kids. We grew up with Tupperware parties. Now, if you don't know what a Tupperware party is, either it's because you're too young or it was not in your community, but Tupperware parties were the best. Like, I loved when my mum was either having a Tupperware party or we would go into one because it was just kid city. <laughs> we were all put into one room. The mums were downstairs having their Tupperware party and it was vibes. And you know, saving stuff. Everything had a use. Like, if it didn't fit anymore, or it was a rag or whatever, it or it was had holes in it, it became something. And that's, we all grew up with that. So being able to sit in these spaces and sit on these, in these forums and on these panels and represent sustainability, like it's not just a trend for me, it is my lifestyle. And I'm really grateful for that. So yeah. I just wanted, that's what I wanted to start with, sustainable spaces. And I actually would love to hear your examples of your sustainable upbringing, like your sustainable stories. Like I was having this conversation with one of my friends earlier and he was saying that, he was telling me his stories of his mum. He grew up in Jamaica and his mum used to make mats out of, oh God, what was it? Like old clothes. So she would rip up the old clothes and um, like when they were rags or whatever, because we're not getting rid of old clothes, they're gonna be used for something else. And she would weave it. So they were like um, weaved mats that would just be used around the home. When they need washing, they get washed and then they get dried out and used again. And these are the kind of stories that I would love to hear. Like, what are your sustainable stories? My best friend, her daughter is, how old is Santana, 13? And whenever she lets me know, she's like, Dan, got some clothes for Cali. I call it the care package because it has helped me get through not having to buy my daughter clothes when her goddaughter has clothes that now fit or her god sister has, she uses her god sister's clothes. There's certain things that I'll see Tan wearing and I'm like, look after that one. Cali's getting that soon. So yeah, what are your sustainable stories? Let me know. And with that said, let's do the intro and get into this podcast. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the So Flippin' Extra podcast, a platform for me to express, explore and connect and be so flippin' extra. Why? I hear you ask. Well, come on, that's what brings me joy. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the podcast and let me let me check my notes to see what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> I just had to adjust the ring light. So yeah, I've got a few notes. Oh, it's so weird doing this on camera. Like before I just felt like I could, I could do my podcast, check my notes, and you lot didn't know what was going on. So now you can see, I mean, let me just let you know my attire because I'm not one of them people that's like, oh, ignore what I'm wearing. No, absolutely not. I've been at the gym today. And listen, when I tell you, I went hard. I'm, okay, should I tell you not my goal? I don't want you to hold me accountable yet. No, I'm gonna let you hold me accountable. So I'm really working on physique because um, I want to enter myself into a body a competition, but it's gonna be, I don't wanna be like, kind of, not bodybuilder. I think it's bikini model. So they're more slender. I said this to one of my friends and he did say, he said, you're not gonna win. 
I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, now I want to win even more. But it's not even to win. You know, sometimes you just want to do something to say, I did that. I trained hard enough and was able to enter myself in and be a contestant. And it's the discipline that goes into training that hard is more what I'm interested in. If I, when I, when I do something, I've always found that I need a goal. I need a reason to do it. So even when, when I was younger um, and it was like, okay, I'm going to go on holiday. I had to, I couldn't just save money. But if I was going on holiday, wow, could I save money? So for me to get to the peak of fitness that I want and the shape that I want and the body that I want and the physique that I want, I know I have to have a goal and that has that goal has to be bigger than I just want to have toned legs. No, I have to be entering into a competition because not entering that competition and not looking my best. So, yeah. Um, so I went gym today. I pushed hard, guys. I did. I pushed hard. Probably now in my brain, all I'm thinking is competition. So I went in. Yesterday, I'm back. So I'm feeling the back is coming through. The lats are coming through. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm even knowing the terminology. Like, stop it. <laughs> so I brought my makeup bag here yesterday to do my podcast, to put some makeup on. And then I, I was like, I can't be asked because when I do my podcast on a Sunday morning, all them ones that you lot have been listening to, trust and believe. I've literally just woken up, flipped open my podcast and started just started talking sleep in my eyes I'm talking what white shit around my mouth when I'm talking I'm not even gonna lie probably dribble down the side of my mouth hair looking all matted so yeah why why change obviously last week's episode I was, I was looking cute if you didn't watch that one go watch it um and this one is just like this is the real me like I can't I can't fake it till I make it there was a post I saw on social media oh, when I saw it, I think it was yesterday, when I saw it, I was like, for real, for real, for real. The title of the post said, social media is not real life. The visual had a girl, she was, um, I think she got out of bed and she put some makeup on and then she lays back in bed next to her boyfriend and she takes a picture. And then she posts it on social media. And obviously her caption is, they're putting the caption in, but you can't, I couldn't read the caption because it wasn't big enough. I guess I, maybe if I watched it, I looked it on my tablet, I'd be able to read it. And so then she posts it and then it sees the next person in the film is sitting in their car and they see, her, they come across her post and they're like, oh. So that person who's just sitting in their car gets out of their car, puts a helmet on, like a bike helmet and takes a picture and the background looks like he's maybe riding up mountains, doing mountain biking or something like that. And so he posts that. And then the next person that posts it they stop their activity. I can't remember what the next one after that was. They stop their activity and then they look at this post. They see his post and they're like, oh. So basically what the post is, is talking about is that everyone's actions, everyone's acting or doing, doing based on what they're seeing on social media. But what you're comparing yourself to, like, oh, I'm just sitting here in my car and this one's doing that. So I'm going to get up and do something. Not everyone's really doing what you see them doing. So you've got to take everything and everyone's post with a pinch of salt because trust and believe we're only putting the best things up. And I say we're only putting the best things up. Some of you lot will co respond to my videos. And I, feel, I do feel in general, I'm very, I am quite real, but you don't see when I'm crying. You don't see the sad times. I don't show you that. People that know me will might know. They'll be like, are you okay? I'll be like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Stop it. Of course I'm fine. You don't see it. You don't see it from your favourite YouTubers or your favourite posters. You don't see that they're having financial issues. You don't see that they're frigging just had an argument with their baby father and they think he's a fucking idiot because he just doesn't listen and he's selfish. Saying that for a friend. They, you don't see that shit. You don't see those that those people that are just like, they're upset with their partner, their husband. You don't see when someone just screamed at their kids because they didn't get ready for school on time, personal, didn't get ready for school on time, and they're running late and they're just moving really slow. Oh, someone's calling me. 
Hang on. So just be mindful of what you're comparing yourself to. Be mindful what you're comparing your progress to. Because when you're looking at someone else and they look like they're doing all the bits and they're milking it in and they're getting all the deals and they're living their best life, it does, it's not always really like that. And that's what I wanted to, that's all I wanted to say. No, there's probably more that I want to say, but now I feel like I'm rushing because I know someone's coming here. <laughs> I just had a whole load of cucumbers and tomatoes and I could, I just belched and I could, I felt that come up with mixed with mango as well. Just, what else do we want to talk about? Another thing that I saw actually today, because stepping back from people that are keeping you where you were, some people will remember where you were and they'll remind you where you were, who you were, how you were, remind you that you've changed. You need to step away from those people because if change is good and change is good for you and you're happy with that change, it doesn't matter where you were. It doesn't matter what you was doing before. But I think it's so funny when people are like, oh, you never used to be like that. You never used to do that. Is what I'm doing now a problem? If it's not a problem to you and it's not a problem to me and it's actually elevating me, it shouldn't be a problem. So why do we have to bring so much light to it and highlight it like like it's like it's a problem now? You have to be really mindful. Some people will try and keep you where you were because it suits them. It suits how they feel and it suits the level of where they want to keep you. Not everyone, not everyone wants to see you grow. Not everyone wants to see you be bigger than them. So, yeah, just honestly, just really be mindful. That was a quick one. So, yeah, God, I, I hope I look decent today on camera. I might have to put a filter on. I might have to look. Social media is getting to me. No, actually, the, probably the rougher that I look, at least someone might say she looks like shit. And then I'll get like, you know, the vanity metrics. They'll all be chatting shit about me. And then my page will grow. And then you lot, who are my diehards, will be like, don't say that about Danny. She's the best. Do you know what I'm saying? All right, so I've dealt with my client and I just had to put a little bit of lip gloss on because I didn't have to worry about this before. I didn't have to worry about if my lips are dry or anything. I just woke up with my dry face <laughs> and recorded. But <sighs> new time, do you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to go back to social media is not real. And obviously I was saying that not everyone shows you the sad times, the bad times when they're crying and down and out. And they don't have to. And you don't have to. Don't think that if you want to be visual on social media, you have to show all sides of you. You absolutely don't. What I'm more trying to reiterate is that you have to remember that don't compare yourself to everyone's good time. Don't compare yourself to what everyone's showing. And if you are having bad times, that's fine because everyone has them, but we're only going to show or they're only going to show the glitz and glam. You're not going to get many people that are going to show up on their podcast bare face, no makeup, hair looking bunchy, stains on their clothes because it's just their workout clothes. You're not going to get many people that are going to show that side of you. So yeah, like just be easy on yourself, man. There's not much else to say today, guys. Like I said, I'm getting into this whole showing up on camera thing and I'm enjoying it because I do like being on camera I've wanted to be a YouTuber for a long time so if it's through my podcast let's go here we go in it but one thing I just wanted to remind you guys this episode is going to come out on Sunday so is it the Sunday after let me see what day is it I just want to tell you a lot about the clean and tidy home show if you haven't yet got your tickets okay so this episode is going to come out on Sunday the 6th. Oh, this episode's out. It's Sunday the 6th. So the Clean and Tidy Home Show will be in two weeks after this episode goes live. And I just love the Clean and Tidy Home Show. Not because they've given me my own stage, the extra stage. So flipping extra. But because it's an amazing community-based place. And it's called the Clean and Tidy Home Show. But don't get it twisted. It's not all about cleaning and tidying. It is a big part of it. But it's really a place where you can listen to conversations, hear how people started their business, finding out that they started their business from loneliness, from depression, from uh, God, their own hardships, after having a baby, just sitting at home. Not all of the businesses that they started are cleaning businesses, not all the stands that are there are everything to do with clean and tidying. I'm gonna have my own personal stand there. 
as well as, like I said, I'm going to be on stage. I'm going to be interviewing some amazing people. And next week, I'll be able to give you like an insight on some of the guests that are going to be on my stage. You also have the demo stages, which, you know, some of it is demos on cleaning and tidying. Um, how to f It could be how to fold, how to dress to impress. I'm going to be doing a demo on there on Saturday, I think around 11 o'clock. So that would be Saturday the 19th, where I'm doing a quick demo on just your repair kit, like things that you can have in a repair kit quick repairs you can do. So you don't want to miss that because they're all going to be no sewing repairs. So yeah, that would be a great one to watch. And then you have the main stage and the main stage has just more guests on there, people talking about their businesses, and more stuff. I don't actually really know everyone who's going to be on the main stage. So next week, I can give you a bit more information on the main stage. And by next week, there'll be one more week to the Clean and Tidy Home Show. I'm going to be so excited. I need to make my outfits. I'm going bigger and better because I'm like, listen, I, I just want someone to say, oh, my gosh, she's so extra. I just want someone to say, oh, my gosh, she's, she's just doing the most. Like, that will bring me joy. I'll be like, mama, I made it. <laughs> they said she's so extra. <laughs> Yeah, what can I leave you with? What what words of wisdom can I leave you with today? Just the the whole thing of just remembering that social media is not real. I'm going to repost that video and I want you guys to watch it. Even though I'm saying go watch it, you'll be like, I get it. I really get it. But just watch it and understand it. And I think it's also a great thing that you can show your kids. Like if you have kids that are, God, they start younger these days. Um, but if they're on social media and or you find themselves comparing themselves to their friends and what their friends are doing and how their friends look and, you know, comparing their hair, comparing their height, comparing... God, Callie's getting boobs now. Comparing their boobs. She doesn't do that, but, you know, just let them know that you're beautiful as you are, you're fine as you are, and anything that you want to change or you want to improve on, do that because you want to do it. Be better because you want to be better. Be more because you want to be more because that's you're ready for that level up. Not because you're seeing that everyone else is doing that level up. Because the thing to remember is sometimes people show up on camera and they show up leveled up and they give you all the tea and everything you need to know. And then as soon as the camera switches off, they're back to normal. Yeah, they're back to, you know, slouching. They're back to just putting their sweats on. Just remember that whatever you're doing is fine and it's normal. And if you want to glow up and you want to change and you want to be better and you want to be more, make sure you're doing it for yourself. Peace out, A-Town down, West Side is the best side. Do I believe that? Well, <laughs> not really, <laughs> but that's where I'm at. And so I've got to be kind, in it? But wherever I'm at is where the vibe's at. So yeah, if you, want, if you just want a vibe, you got to come where the vibes at, babes, because the vibes always vibing around here. What can I say? Bye, guys. <laughs>